Hello, and welcome back to another video of Kelp Nerd. So today's video is going to be on a 2048 program that I uh, found online. It's a really good program. I had my own version of 2048, but it ran very slow. Like you had to wait 30 seconds in between each move, so it would be very unbearable to play. And this version is very well made. It's made by uh, Sam. Uh, I found it on semtech.net, so check that out. I'll have a link in the description. It's another calculator form along with TI Basic Developer. They're both really good forms that I like to look at and read, and you can learn lots of cool stuff. So let's show you what 2048 looks like. Okay, so I called it uh, T48 um, because you can't have all numbers. You have to have one letter followed by some numbers to name a program. So that's what I did. And so now I'm gonna click enter to play it. So as you can see, it automatically outputs the first two, so I'm gonna go left here. It takes around six seconds for it to complete a move. So it'll move this two over here and that two will stay in the same spot. I'm gonna go up and that'll give me a four up there. And then that two will just stay where it is. So it's a really solid program overall. It runs very well. Uh, it's pretty compact. Um, I'll give you the bike count in a little bit. Um, it's really an awesome program and the person who made it should be proud of what they made. It's really cool. So I'm going to uh, explain one problem with this in a second. Um, we'll see where it gives me my next thing. Okay, so basically one problem with this, oh, I could have done up and it would have given me, um, is that it gets what I call lockups. So like if I was to hit the up arrow key, nothing will combine and there's nothing here that moves up. So if I click up, the program kind of suspends itself and it won't let itself um, keep going and it won't let you do any other moves, um, which is one problem that I'm working on trying to fix. So I will come out with the second version of this program later, most likely, um, and I'll try my best to fix that problem. But if you don't do that, the program works very well. It runs just fine. And I'm going to uh, play a little bit of it so you can just watch what happens. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Remember to stick around to see a tutorial on how to program this on your own calculator. And if you do program it, I hope you have a lot of fun. Okay, so there is one thing right here. So as you can see, there's two eights. And if I click up, it will um, merge this into a 16, but it will not merge both into a 32 um, because of the algorithm. And in my second version, I might try to correct that. It is very difficult to use logic to figure that out and have the program run really fast. So I can definitely understand why the person did not include that. Um, as you can see, it'll give me a 16 here and I just go up one more and it'll give me a 32 um, because it would slow the program down quite a bit, I would imagine. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why it does not combine, um, like if there's three, but if there is four, for example, like a 32, a 32, an eight, and an eight, it'll give me a 64 and a 16. Like, um, for example, this right here, so I'm gonna click the up arrow, it'll give me an eight and a four. Okay, so here we are, and I'm going to show you how you can make this program for yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to T48, which is what I named it, and you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, T48, I just kind of prefer because 20 and then a 48. You can also do like TW48 or something like that, whatever you'd like. Okay, so clear home, four comma four, stored in the dimensions of matrix A, four comma four, stored in the dimensions of matrix B. So as you can see right here, right off the bat, we're taking for matrix A and making it a four by four grid along with matrix B. And then you fill zeros into matrix A. Zero stored to S, repeat until matrix A at A comma B is equal to zero. Rand int, one comma four stored to A, rand int, one comma four stored to B, end. Two plus two, 
not Randon's 0, 9 stored into matrix A at A, comma B. Remember, to find the matrix, all you do is click second and then the x to the negative first because I click the yellow button, so I get the yellow function. And all the matrices from A to, I believe, J, yep, will be there. Along within the map tab, there is stuff like fill and dimensions, and as well as row swap, which we'll use later, and matrix store into list. Okay, repeat until B is equal to zero or K is equal to 45. If A is not, matrix A is not equal to matrix B, repeat matrix A at A comma B is equal to zero. So re repeat until matrix A at A comma B is equal to zero. Random integer one comma four stored into A, random integer one comma four stored into B. End. two plus two, not randomed, zero comma nine, stored into matrix A at A comma B. I'll put a comma one comma quote score. Remember, you will not automatically have lowercase letters on your graphing calculator. If you'd like to see how to do that, you can go click up in the corner right there. I have a video on how you can make that for yourself. It's a really simple program. It's literally one line. Okay, I'll put a comma eight comma s for a comma one comma four for b comma one comma four. I'll put two times a minus one comma, four times B minus three, quote, and then there's four spaces because the highest tile you can get in this is the 2048 tile, or actually you can get the 4096 tile as well um, because it's four characters. Anything above four characters um, will just be really big and it'll take up five spaces. And so you won't see what the last number of it is or the number next to it. It just depends on where it is in the screen. If matrix A at A comma B is not equal to zero, so it's checking, do I really need to output something there? Because in the matrix, there's nothing there. So I don't need to output any spaces or anything. So it's automatically taking whatever was there, it's deleting whatever was there, and then it's checking, okay, is there anything really there? Do I need to output anything? Because if you were just outputting something, it would just be a zero if there was nothing there. So if it is not equal to zero, then I'll put two times A minus one, comma four times B minus three, matrix A at A comma B, and end. Repeat until G is equal to one. Get key store into K. If sum of K is equal to 24, comma 25, comma 26, comma 34, one store into G, end. This is uh, one line I put in just to correct a little bit of stuff that was happening. And then matrix A stores into matrix B and zero store into G. That's just one little thing I added just to make it a little more efficient in case you accidentally bump a random key. If K is equal to 24 or K is equal to 26, A transposed store into matrix A. So to find the transpose operator, it is in the matrix tab. So remember you click second and then X to the negative first. Scroll over to math and it is the second option right there. As you can see, there is a little T like that. So I'm going to click the clear button to get out of that. And uh, there's a couple more of those later in the program. So I can tell you that it's in the matrix tab later as well. If K is equal to 26 or K is equal to 34, then row swap matrix A at 1 to 4. So 1 and 4 are switching. And then row swap matrix A at 2 comma 3. So the middle two are also switching. Okay, end. For A comma two comma four, for B comma one comma four, matrix store into list. Remember that is in the matrix tab. So you click second, X to the negative first. You scroll over one to the math section and you scroll up until you find matrix store into list. I believe it's A or something like that if you want to do quick menu. Uh, so matrix store into list, matrix A comma B comma L1. L1 is one of the lists right here, so you click second and then the one. A minus one stored in the dimensions of L1, which is why A started at two. If sum not L1 is equal to zero, and remember all these parentheses in here, so two parentheses after L1, then, and yes, the parentheses can make a big difference. I'll uh, point out a spot later in the program where I actually messed it up. And uh, it was just because of one parenthesis. So one parenthesis can change the whole thing. Matrix A at A comma B, store in a matrix A, 
multiplied, remember this parenthesis right here, matrix A minus sum, not L1, parenthesis, parenthesis, comma, B. Zero store in a matrix, matrix A at A, comma, B, and, and, and. So that's three ends right there. For A, comma, one, comma, three, for B, comma, one, comma, four, if matrix A at A, comma, B is not equal to zero, and matrix A at A comma B is equal to matrix A at A plus one comma B. So it's seeing that it's not equal to zero and this one right here and this one right here are equal to. So that means it can combine them. So then that's what it's doing right here. And uh, this is the parenthesis that I missed right here right after the one and I'll explain why that happened. Uh, so actually I missed this one right here. So just don't forget the S plus and then the parenthesis there because if you have a don't have a parenthesis here and you have one here it does not work it'll give you an error and it gets very confused so s plus ln at matrix a at a comma b parenthesis parenthesis divided by ln at 2 plus 1 parenthesis matrix a at a comma b store into s so this is updating the score is what it's doing um so yeah that's basically what it's doing uh to find ln the way that i did it i just used the catalog um, so second and then zero, and then I, it's already on alpha, so I click the L, which is this right here, and as you can see, that's also where the little L is, and it's right there. So it's just a little ways down. You can also click the M and then just scroll up a little bit to get L in. So I'm going to click clear to get back out of that. Okay, two times matrix A at A comma B, store in a matrix A at A comma B. So because this was a four and this was a four, it's now going to be an eight. So two times whatever was here stored to the place that it was there because K was equal to 24 or whatever it is in that case. And then you have a zero store into, because this is now an eight and this four is gone. So now zero goes right here. End, end, end. For A comma two comma four, for B comma one comma four, Matrix store into list at matrix or matrix A comma B comma L1. A minus 1 store into the dimensions of L1. If sum not L1 parenthesis parenthesis is not equal to 0, then matrix A at A comma B store into matrix A multiplied by A minus sum not L1 parenthesis parenthesis comma B. 0 store into matrix A at A comma B. End, end, end. If K is equal to 26 or 34, then row swap matrix A at 1, 4, store into matrix A. Row swap matrix A at 2, 3, store into matrix A. And if K is equal to 24 or K is equal to 26, then A transposed, store into matrix A. Remember, that is in the matrix tab, so second and X to the negative first. Zero, store into B. For a comma one comma four matrix store into list at matrix A comma A comma L one B plus sum not L one store into B end 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 and that is the whole entire program so you can play twenty forty eight on your calculator it does run a little bit slower but that's because it does not use assembly which is basically talking directly to the calculator's processor and it doesn't have to convert this to assembly so. That's really all you have to do to play 2048. It is a really fun game. I hope you enjoy. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you do consider subscribing. Uh, watch a few other of my videos, and if you really enjoy them and have fun playing them on your calculator, just consider subscribing. I hope you enjoy today's video, and I hope you look forward to the ones in the future. And as always, thank you for watching.